what is one of your favorite features that YouTube got rid of that you're like, oh no, I wanted that to stay. Um, like bulletins or something? Or remember bulletins? That was yeah, a thing. That was never, a thing was. Yeah, I never used them. Um, I never did I. But some people did, and it was really useful. I mean, I like. They have a lot of new layouts. I like. I don't make new layouts every six months. I don't like that personally. Two layouts ago was my favorite. Yeah. Back when it was like channel comments. I mean, it, it was a little bit weird because like, people could change their their font color inside the boxes and their background color, and so you like couldn't read it. It's like turquoise blue over like a yellow, and you can't read that. You know what I mean? But. If they could have mixed like two channels ago with the one that they just got rid of, I think that would have been a good thing. They're always experimenting, but yeah. we'll see. Yeah. I mean, they always say like they know what they're doing, and they're like they're they're like they're going in the right direction because views are up and everything. But are views just up because YouTube is just getting better and, and like expanding and people are loving it more and more? I think it's a combination. Um, YouTube does a good job at promoting uh, YouTubers, uh, whether it's something like Comedy Week or something like that. Yeah. YouTube does a, a good job at supporting. Um, it may be a little harder to get discovered now because of the way things are set up, but I think for the most part, you just get out there, YouTube will put support in the way. Yeah. Did you ever get a featured video back yeah, in the day? Yeah, yeah my, my first, actually when I saw YouTube as something I could probably do, I got featured on the homepage maybe in 2009, which was a really big deal back then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because I went from probably 4,000 views to 100,000 in 24 hours. Wow. And, uh, so back then, that was really the way to kind of try to get popular, but it still was really random. Get on the homepage. Yeah, yeah. And then after that, it was like, if you got enough thumbs up, then you could maybe be in like the top of that category, right? So like, if like, please thumb up this video and <laughs> share with your friends. A lot of scamming going on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so funny. It's funny how it's evolved. How do you feel the YouTube community has changed since then? I, I think it's getting better and bigger. Um, you know, events like these, you know, it's, it's awesome to see people within four months, five months coming out and uh, supporting everybody. Uh, and YouTube community, uh, you look at a lot of top YouTubers, they're really close. You know, they, they, they participate each other, they go to each other's weddings, and um, I think YouTube is basically just one big family with friends, yeah. and uh, it's, it's just getting better. Cool, cool. And, and you mentioned about how, like, it's, you know, I asked you, like, what's one of the best things YouTube's ever done for you? It's like, it's been a job, right? It's, it's been a paycheck. Um, there's some people online, and it's the same thing with music, you know, like when you sign a record deal, it's like, oh, you sold out. It's like, oh, like, you're, you're selling if you're making money, but, I mean, do you feel like that that's kind of just like, that's not the whole community? I mean, because those are the people that, like, you notice the most, right? It's the haters, the people saying negative things. There could be, like, a million nice comments, but you just find these little negative ones, right? And so, I don't know, what, what are your thoughts on that? I don't even know what the question was there, I just kind of said things. Yeah, it was, um... First of all, there's a lot of stupid comments. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but as the community grows, like I used to go, I'm not one to be shy. If somebody leaves me a nasty comment, I'll say something back to them. <laughs> but but now, now my audience, they do it for me. I mean, they're just liking that comment or they're responding to them. Um, so that's a good thing. Your, your audience and your community, they support you. Uh, so it's always good to support them because they'll support you back and have your back. And uh, so that's, that's, a, that's a good thing about comments. But sometimes they do get in your nerves. Yeah. yeah, it's funny, eh? It's funny how like you can have like a hundred people comment on a video, and ninety nine say nice things, but you put more energy into that one negative person. It's like, why can't they like me? You know, it's like, why are they being so mean? I, I usually comment back and then block. Them. Yeah, <laughs> it's like the last word. <laughs> it's like, no, you cock block them. <laughs> and it's like, what? Matt G is big for that. Matt G is, is uh, supposed to be here somewhere, and he he said. That the best thing that he does is somebody writes like a big paragraph, just like a hateful comment. And it's just like, no, you are, and then just that's it. And then there's like, it like infuriates them because he like literally just didn't even care to their big huge thing. So it's funny. Yeah, YouTube community is, is definitely interesting, but I think it's great that like people are able to make a living and and then pro you know provide us with all this content so that we can watch that. I'm totally, it's the same as you know television stars getting paid to make TV so that we can enjoy it. Again, I think traditionally some people think there's no work put into these videos, it doesn't take time, but the videos can take time. It depends on what type of videos you do, but they do take time and money sometimes. I know for me, I, I it's still even to this day, but with tech, I buy a lot of the products that I review. Yeah. Not all of them, but I do buy some of them. And that's money out of my pocket, and I don't always get that back in my videos, but if I know my audience wants to see me review that product, I'm gonna go buy it and support it. I just see it as an investment for the most part. 
And right. so the people will get mad if somebody's making money while I'm making money. I say, shut up. <laughs> That's the thing, right? Like, say, say, I don't know, somebody buys something that costs twenty dollars, but their video only made fifteen dollars of that specific video. You're down five bucks, but you want to make that video, you want to make that content. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I had another question just as you were saying that, and I, I can't remember what it was. Oh, um, with the with the stuff that you review, sometimes you even have it's like it's on loan to you, correct? Like they're like, hey, you can review this. But then you have to give it back afterward, right? A couple times. Most of it, uh, with, with tech, they send you just they just send you the product and you just keep it. So yeah. I'm, I'm cool with that. Um, <laughs> so I, I flip it. I sell it on Amazon and give it to my friends and family. Um, to kind of make more money. But then, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's just, it depends on the company. Yeah. Do you ever do giveaways where it's where it's like you know it's like a product, a hot product that you know that your viewers would love? And you give it up? Yeah, I, I always do giveaways. So. Uh, ever since my beginning days, this is a good way to get back to your community. Uh, iPads, cell phones, things like that. I yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So go get something for free, guys. Go watch and win. So yeah. Um, have you been to many other conventions? Like you know, like yeah, I've been to VidCon every year. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I've just been to mostly all the big cons. Yeah. Okay. So do you think Blogger Fair? Like, I mean, it's only been it's only in the morning, the first day. Do you think this is something that uh, that's going to make a difference and, and, and something we can see happen every year? I think it is. I mean, I think because this conference is solely, almost mostly just on blogging. Um, again, it's going to be more personal. I'm not as big as Bitcoin, yeah. but, it but it doesn't need to be. Yeah. Um, I think this is something that, again, it's a lot more personal. And we have a lot of good vendors here so far, a lot of good sponsors. Uh, so it's on the right track. You know what I love? Okay, so here's the thing. YouTube has a bunch of these different conferences or fairs or gatherings, and VidCon started out small. The first one was small. Second, I went to number two. I missed out on number one. I went, I went to VidCon two, and and so on and so on. And I went to Playlist two, and so on and so on. But like, it's funny because they are all growing every year. So it's almost kind of cool that like a new one starts every now and again because like it's fun to go to like the beginning one where it's like very small, intimate, hanging out, meeting people, and then. But it's also great to go to the big ones because VidCon is obviously a lot of fun and there's a lot going on. Yeah, the good thing about this, I mean, there's people way bigger than me. I just need Shay Carl, you know, VidCon nerves swamped, you know. Here, they're going to be around here. You can be able to get one-on-one -on -one with them more than likely. So I love it that it's small. If it gets bigger, that's great too. Uh, but I like things when they first start off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you said about, like, I just need Shay Carl, like, you know, like, like big YouTubers. Were there any that, like, really inspired you when you started making videos? Like. Yeah, honestly, it was uh, Chris Perillo because you know, he's a nerd just like I am. He he really inspired me to do videos. I was looking to get a new computer and stuff, and uh, I came across his channel. And I, I said, I've never been up on TV, and um, so um, yeah, he really kind of inspired me to do it. Uh, Leo Laporte, not really big on YouTube, but mm -hmm. another big guy in the tech community, uh, kind of inspired me. It's, it's funny because like um, it's funny that you like you, you were looking for a new computer and then stumbled across like a, a video or something like this. Right? Um, it's funny when I'm like trying to do something with software. I'm like, ah, how do I do this? I don't know the command. I know there's a way of doing this. So I look it up online. I'm like, oh, okay. And then like I end up finding like a few people that are always in my top search results on, on how to use software. And then the odd convention, I'm like, I know you. You helped me out big time. You know what I mean? It's funny. That's what's so cool about this is that the community is so small. You, you run into these people. So. Cool. Any other last questions? Any last questions before he jumps off stage here? Anyone else want to know some stuff about tech? Or about his personal life? Are you single? Is, is that a thing that we can talk about? Are you guys interested? You know? So no? I do. Well, thank you very much. It's a pleasure. All right. Thanks, guys. So we're going to take a break for five minutes, and then we're going to be back doing some more interviews, some more Q&A with some more YouTubers. Sound good? You guys know that? Five minutes. Go pee and make it quick. <laughs>